but my Father which is in heaven. Somebody say, God, show me a secret. God, show me a secret. Show me a secret. Everything I have, Everything every I blessing have. I possess is because God showed me a secret. Amen. Deacon Rob will testify everything. God has lead me to spoke. We did. But the only reason we were able to accomplish uh, what we have is, is because God showed me a secret. Uh, are you with me, brother? So he, he showed us a secret about the ministry. He, he showed us a secret about the football team. He, he showed us a secret about the rap. He, he, he just often, as we walk with him, showed him, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> now, now look at that. Yeah. Well, well, what do you think about that? Okay. He reveals himself to us. All right, all right. And if we're going to see him, we have to reveal ourselves to him. Yeah. And if people are going to see him through us, we have to reveal ourselves to them. Come on, all right, all right. Okay. Are you with me? <clears throat> People can't see Jesus' pride in our pride and our arrogance and our prestige. But people see Jesus in our brokenness. They see Jesus through our sickness. They see Jesus through our pain. Uh, that's why we are not to put on masks and portray like we got it all together, like we're perfect and like we have completely obtained. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But we all are just a work in the making. We're all just clay on the potter, and we're letting the Lord shape and, and mold us and create uh, uh, who he would have us to be. Amen. Paul says, I have not yet arrived, nor have I apprehended, but there's one thing I have. I forget those things which are behind, and I reach for those things which are before. I, I press toward the mark. You tell me, Apostle Paul... You you wrote half of the New Testament. You you see things that other apostles have not seen. You 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 survive storms. You survive uh, shipwrecks. You've been bit by serpents. And you and you shook it off. And you tell me you have not apprehended all things. <laughs> Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Amen. That's why the Lord allows us to go through different stuff. That's why the Lord allows us to experience trials and tribulations. Because he's trying to show how bad he really is in our life. In our text, you have a man by the name of Peter who stripped himself. Peter and John has just done something mighty. Look at with me. This man has been crippled and lame his whole entire life. <laughs> he comes in contact with these men. And by coming in contact with these men, one man reaches down and snatches him up. And everything that was lame is now working. These natural men have just operated in this supernatural. The thing that they did broke all the laws of the natural world. They have just performed something that uh, an intellect nor education can explain. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You do understand God wants to do things with you and I that people can't even explain. I found out that's what makes it hard about really testifying and because I, I can't really find the right words to explain what he did. <laughs> Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I, I want to testify and hope I can paint a clear picture, but it's hard to paint a clear picture because what he did, brothers and sisters, Broke all the laws of the natural world. It was supernatural. I have nothing to compare it to. I have nothing to reconcile it to. It, it was natural. It was supernatural. It was a miracle. Amen. These men have just performed a miracle. And guess what? Everybody sees it. God just does not hide miracles to himself. But when God uses his people to expose, to you, I mean to work miracles, God exposes it. That's right. 
Right. And God exposed this miracle to the point that everybody that was around, everybody that was in the temple came running to see these three men. Mm -hmm. Peter, John, and the lame man. Right. Wow. <laughs> they went into this place, just two of them. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of it, now there's hundreds of people around. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. are, are you getting this? Yes. Yes. The Bible tells us that Peter saw it. He saw it. He saw it. All these people are around me and they're amazed. I, I'm on a greater stage now. The game is on now. God has been lifted up and, and he's drawn all men unto me. He saw it. He saw it. Whoa. I can't meet with just you and me, John, but, but now look at all these people around us. He saw it. God has took me high. <laughs> the thing that I've been praying for, God is allowed to come into my life. The way I've been, been praying to be used, God has allowed me to be used in that way. God has done something great in my life. Have you seen what the Lord has done? Yes, sir. Look at all these people listening to you so earnestly. <laughs> he saw it. And he had a decision to make. Anytime you see what the Lord is doing, you have a decision to make. I got all these people around me. The decision is, do I steal God's glory. Oh, come on, that's the truth. <laughs> and make them start to worship me. Yes. Make them build statues for me. Yes. Make them think that I'm somebody. They're here. They're, and they'll do it. I may not be able to operate in the supernatural anymore, but, but right now they'll, they'll give me whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Because they're here. And what is done is done. The lame man is walking. Now do I steal God's glory? Or do I strip myself and say, God, I give you all the glory. For it's not me. It's all you. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if we're going to be a church of action, if God is going to really use us, I'm telling you, one day, and just being used by God and filled with his Holy Ghost, you're, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to see it. Mm -hmm. You're going to see people are going to be around you. The business is going to be established. Money is going to be flowing into your bank account. You, you uh -huh. reach the level, the way that you want it to be used. God is now using you in that yeah. form of thing that you wanted to do. God is now doing it for you. Now you're going all over the world speaking. And now, and now you're healing people in Jesus' name. Now you're, now you're doing things in Jesus' name. And, and it's happening. The thing that you have prayed for has now come to the past. God has answered you. He, he has now did it. And one day you're going to open your eyes and you're going to see it. Uh, uh, uh. Phone is ringing off the hook. Uh, 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 dates are booked up. You're, you're now a person of importance. He, he brought you from nothing and he, he made you something. And you're going to have a decision to make. Yes. Do I steal your glory? Come on now. Mm. Yes. Do I make him worship me? Mm -hmm. Do I make him come to me? Do I make him bow down to me? Yeah. Or Lord, do I give you all, all, the, glory. all the glory? Yes, yes. Yes. Do I strip myself yeah. and say it's not me, it's not but it's God that's working through me? Yeah. Do I say, no, don't look upon me, but look on the one that was in me. I, 
I'm just the donkey that was tied up at the post that one day the master came by and he, and he told his disciple that he had need of me and, and they came and untied this donkey. I'm a, I'm a foolish person, but, but the only thing that's making me wise is it's not me, it's that the one that's on my back. Oh, it's just Jesus riding me through cities and, he, and he's riding me through Sundays and he's riding me through storms and he's riding me through tribulations. Don't look at me, but look at the one. Ooh, does it on my back. But look what Peter's did. Thank God for and, and this wasn't at one point Peter's character. But he's been converted. And he said, Hold on, people. Hold on, man of Israel. All these men and women around me. Hold on. I, I see you're looking at me like I'm somebody. <laughs> you're starting to marvel at me. You're starting to look at me uh, uh, earnestly. Your, your, your eyes are fixed on me. Hold on. Yeah. Woo. Don't ever think that it's by my power. If people are going to see Jesus, we have to take off our power. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> and we have to become weak. We can't trust in our financial power. We can't trust in our, 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 our intelligence power. We, we can't trust in our physical power. We can't trust in our, our verbal power. But, but, but if people are going to see Jesus, we, we have to become weak. We, we can't even defend ourselves. But but we have to become nothing. We have to take on our power so they can see Jesus. He says, it's not by my power. He says, nor is it by my godliness. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, my righteousness, if I was to say. My, uh, not, not because I go to church. Not yeah. because I pray. Not because I yeah. tithe. Not, don't don't think right. be, be because you do what you do that God owes you yeah. something. Come God. On, God. If God never to choose to give me anything, I still supposed to preach him. If God never to choose to bless me, I still supposed to pray. If God choose to leave me broke, I still supposed to say hallelujah. Because God does not owe us nothing. Come on. We owe him everything. So don't, so don't dare think if because you come to church that, that God is a genie. You can, you can come to church and, yeah. and you can rub yeah. his lantern and he's going to grant you three wishes. This, this doesn't work like that, brothers and sisters. You're only fooling yourself. But, but when you serve God, you are supposed to serve him not for what you can get, but you serve him because you love him. Come on now. Yes. So whether rich or poor, I'm still with you. Whether it's sickness or in health, I'm still with you. I'm married to you. I'm, I'm connected to you. I'm with you. Yes, I took a covenant with you. To death, do us part. Peter says, why are you looking on me? By my own power of my own righteousness mm -hmm. this man that you see here is whole mm -hmm. who did it then Peter <laughs> the God of Abraham mm -hmm. yes. the God of Isaac <laughs> and the God of Jacob yes. has glorified his son Jesus yes. Oh, here go this Jesus stuff again. <laughs> you, 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 Pilate was ready to let him go. Uh -huh. But because of your wickedness, you denied him. Here goes this Jesus <laughs> stuff again. You, you do understand, brothers and sisters, that, that, that these same people that's now around the, the temple... In Solomon's porch are the same people, uh, yes, Lord, on, on, on Friday said, crucify him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, it's these same people 
are the ones that denied him. It's these same people are the ones that lied on him, the ones that ridiculed him, the ones that wanted him to see, uh, uh, yeah, go. They wanted him to die. They wanted him to be crucified. And, uh, yeah, and they thought when they crucified him that it was over. They thought when they put him in the tomb and sealed it, it was over. When we finally got rid of this man, he was turning our city upside down. He was, he, was, he was making thousands of people follow him. 5,000 people, not including women and children. They're all following him. They're 